Well, girls have the advantage because girls talk to each other, and don't kid yourself, they talk about the penis. Penis size, penis shape, the angle of the bend, whether it winks at you, they talk. Not to really make love to a woman, you gotta really care about it. Uh, hey, sex is great, but sex with someone you love, that's awesome. Dude, that is so profound. I'm telling you. Yeah, it definitely gets lonely on the road. Sure, I made love to all kinds of different food groups. Did you ever try making love to a peanut butter sandwich? Nothing comes close. What? Oh, uh, maybe a debone ham hock, but that takes a whole lot of prep. Bend your knees. Next time you're spanking it, sit Indian style. You won't come. Not in a million years. Our sex organs are like musical instruments. Sure, you can have any technician blow on your horn, but to place your instrument into the hands of a true expert, that, my young friend, is true harmony. Guys don't talk to each other because they view each other as competitors, which I think is crazy, you know? Because men need to help each other and, and work together to get laid. Noel Levenstein, class of 70. Pete Zambrelli? That's right, the Noel Levenstein. Do you have a number for him? Hi, this is regarding his advice on lubricants. We found the tongue tornado in Regina! <laughs> you said bros before hoes. Isn't that what you said? Bros before hoes. And then you screwed my girlfriend. Well, so did the entire Glee Club, Carlito. What's your point? I married her, you asshole. No one Levenstein. Janice? Jessica. Well, congratulations. Who didn't see that coming? Look at the time. Gotta go. It's all about chemistry, and confidence is the key. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, you've heard that's all right. Boys, we've got another confirmation. You gotta treat your lady right. You've got to be gentle, kind, and respectful to the one you love. Who are you talking to? Shut the fuck up. This is how you get her really excited. Stick your finger in her ass. Trust me. Is that two fingers or one? I'm sorry, it's a confidential matter. Is on this now, on this now. Bones, on this Hello? Yeah, uh, class of 77. Yeah, hold on, let me get a pen. Pete O'Donnell, please. Who is this? Uh, uh, Mr. O'Donnell, this is uh, Marshall Lubetsky. I just wanted to talk to you about what you wrote in the Bible. You know, about having anal sex with Miss Johnson. This is not a sex manual. It is a life manual. I've been married for 35 years, and not just because I'm this handsome dude who knows how to satisfy a woman. I've been married 35 years because I love my wife and I respect my wife. And whether it's Amsterdam or East Great Falls, it all comes down to this. If you're honest, and treat a girl with respect, then whatever happens is meant to happen because it's all perfectly natural. <laughs> Boys, I've prepared you for this quest, and before you lies the biggest test of your lives. This book is a powerful weapon. So use it for good, not evil. <laughs>